Hello and welcome to the class of 2027, 2024 to 2025 class office forums. These forums are intended to display the reasons why um, your candidates are the most qualified for their position. So we'll now begin. We're going to start off by introducing ourselves. All right, so we're going to go down the list from president to treasurer with your name and the position you are running for. We'll start off with the president candidate. Um, my name is Ellie, and I'm running to be president. All right, uh, vice president candidate. Number one, I don't, I don't, any of you? Um, my name is Davin, and I'm running for vice president. My um, name is Lorene, and I'm running for vice president. Secretary? My name is Angelica, and I'm running for secretary. Um, one of the treasurers? Um, my name is Rachel, and I'll be running for a treasurer. And my name is Nancy, and I'll also be running for a treasurer. All right, we're going to move on to the first question. All right, this question will be for going to everyone. The I and Sixer stands for innovated. What are some ideas that you would like to implement this school year for your class? So we'll start off with Rachel. Your time starts whenever your first word does. Okay, so my ideas as a treasurer is for the school year for my class is to do like fundraisers or like any type of an event that people can really get involved in and have a bunch of fun too at the same time. So for example, like Winterfest, uh, you guys had like other people come in and like have, to have them sell their clothes, but we could also do the same thing, but we could also charge an entry fee to also gain more money and have the people who are also making the money, we could also get a certain amount, a percentage of whatever they're making. And we could also do like any type of auction to sell like stuff that we have and we could put it into our class fundraising or we could also do a car, wa car wash for our upperclassmen because if I'm being honest, like nobody really wants to wash their cars. So we could also charge for something like that and no, those are my ideas. Perfect. All right, now we'll move on to our other candidate for treasure, who is Nancy. Whenever you're ready. So, um, actually, my ideas are you know a little similar to Rachel's. Um, I was thinking like because everyone's fundraisers are very similar to each other like everyone does like boba and stuff like that and I just want to try something new and um, get ideas that are more trendy and like get people more involved and also I want to like create a bigger like m promote more of the class of 2027 um like fundraisers during the tailgate and stuff. So um, our class would be more, you know, also involved and just more abundant. Yeah. Awesome. We'll move on to our secretary candidate. Um, I think we should like help clean up the school a little because it's a little dirty and kind of stinky and um we should get more people to be involved in like events like BOTC because during BOTC this year there was barely anybody there and yeah it was very empty and like I think we could add more like clubs and sports teams like we just added flag football and I think we could add some more sports yeah Okay, um, we'll now move on to our one of our vice president candidates. We'll start with Laureen. Whenever you're ready. Um, I think that also we should do more fundraisers like bake sales and or movie nights. That would be really cool. And I also would say more um, get more people involved, especially at BOTC, because, you know, it's like the very important like end of the year event. And, um, and yeah, that's it. Okay, awesome. So we'll move on to the next question. 
Oh, wait, no. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. I'm like, I just got back from practice. I'm so tired. Okay, we'll move on to this other vice president candidate. Um, Davin, whenever you're ready. Um, so, I mean, the I in six years obviously means innovative. And I think, like, I would like to propose the idea that like, we should bring more participation with the school spare for the rallies and, like, events at Indy. I mean, this year as freshmen, we didn't do too good on it. But, I mean, it's our first year as students in high school. So I think sophomores should like step it up and, you know, get more people in air band and like powder puff and all of those things. Um, this year as a freshman, uh, we didn't do too good on like preparing and planning things out for like BOTC and all those things. So I think next year we should like involve people in like the themes and like BOTC as it's like the very last rally and our biggest rally. And, you know, obviously just work with whoever's going to be president this year, see what their ideas are as well. All right, and to close off this question, we will uh, go to our president candidate, Ellie, whenever you're ready. One of my first ideas that I'd like to implement for the next year is to have more meetings with the class office so we can be more organized and so we can help, so we are all, all on the same page for things such as fundraisers. In addition, I would like to have Airband be a little more scheduled, perhaps a designated Airband group to help people's individual skills shine. Um, in addition, I want to foster more BOTC involvement uh, by promoting more merch, mer merchandise such as pins, hoodies. And in addition, I would like to help foster more powder puff involvement. Lastly, I just want to have as many fundraisers as we can. Yeah, that's all. All right, then we'll move on to our next question. Okay, this is a question to everyone. Have you been involved in your classes here? If not, why? Okay, let's start off with the secretary candidate. Your uh, one minute starts now. Um, I think I have been involved with my class this year because I helped with Airband and I performed for Airband and helped make the posters and I went to BOTC this year and I also helped set up for a lot of the rallies and I also tried out for sports team and I'm running for class office right now so yeah. Okay uh, next we're going to go on to our vice president candidate let's start off with Lorene. I have been involved this school year starting with um in the beginning of the school year, we, I used to always work at concessions and the door for football games, which was required in leadership. And we also um, made all of the posters and props for rallies, which is also required if you're in leadership. But I performed and helped with air band for BOTC. I also, I was there obviously. And um, not only was I involved in the class of school year, I was very involved with clubs. I performed for club for welcome back rally and yeah thank you and then let's move on to davin um i feel like i have been pretty involved in my class since i was secretary last year and i would be in touch with the things at independence like i would usually help out during and after school activities like the rallies and even before school like 6 a.m rally setups with my other class cabinet officers and during the meetings as secretary, I would attend and take the notes of what we should have done with our past or like future activities. So I was always involved in like knowing what like we should do or like we could have done better. And I think although I haven't done air band, I was in like the activities for the rallies and I attended the BOTC rally and I bought the merchandise for that too. And I worked at the Winterfest for leadership, although that wasn't the main reason I went there. I thought it was just going to be fun and it was a good thing to do since I'm secretary. Thank you. And then let's move on to our president candidate. Um, yes, I have been involved by being vice president, which has helped me with my involvement, such as setting up for all of the rallies. In addition, I participated in the activities. I participated in the first airband and I helped with airband props and backdrops for all of them. Uh, and it, lastly, I have also participated in a few clubs such as VSA. 
Thank you. And then let's move on to our treasurer candidates. Let's uh, do Nancy. So um, with specifically our class of 2027, I have not been involved like in air band or stuff like that because I've been, you know, wait, like really busy with a um, bunch of clubs performing for all the rallies. But um, next year I want to, you know, lessen that down and be more involved and um, participate in more air, air, more air bands and yeah. Thank you. And then last but not least, uh, Rachel. Um, mine is also similar to the rest of the candidates. Um, I haven't really been involved with specifically my class of 2027, but I really want to use leadership and becoming part of class cabinet as an opportunity because I've also been participating in clubs as in club too. And I was on our school's volleyball team and I would go to our school's football games too, to cheer on. And I just really want to participate more and become more involved by also participating in air bands and playing the games at BOTC too. And that's all. So um, next question to everyone, why do you choose to run for your specific position? So um, Davin, on your first word. All right. So. Uh, I would like to serve IHS as the class vice president because I think it will allow me to learn like more political skills and being more of a leader for like the class of 2027. And I think this year as a freshman, I was a secretary, I was a secretary for a class office. And like, while that was a good experience, um, I would like the opportunity to take on like more of a challenge and like serve as the vice president. Um, I'm friends with a lot of students in my class and I like to represent them by organizing just as well as the sophomores uh, this year and like the juniors and seniors too. Um, and furthermore, like by fulfilling my role as vice president, I can like create strong relationships with like my peers, staffs, and like teach the independence. Um, this role will like teach me time management and most likely uh, create lasting memories for me in the class of 2027. Okay, um, we'll go to the second candidate, uh, Lorraine. I chose to run for vice president because this year while doing all of the like extra like stuff for leadership after school, it was really fun. And I wanted to like pursue this role because I wanted to, you know, have some inside, you know, like inside sight of what it was like to be in class office and also to build my leadership skills and to build also like strong relationships with people in my class and teachers and also to make the school more involved because I see that like not a lot of people are as involved as um, as I would like them to be so I ran for vice president because I want to see people like be more spirited Okay, uh, we'll move on to the president candidate next, and then we'll go treasurer and secretary. Um, Holly, when your first word. I feel I have adequate experience and knowledge to run for president. I can take my past experiences as being a vice president to help create a, an even better and spirited school year. Being involved with school is really fun, and I really want people to experience this. I want to represent my class to help create an environment that everyone has fun in and yeah. Okay, we'll go with um, Angelica next. Um, I chose to run for secretary because I wanted to be more involved with the school and also help other people become more involved with the school. And I wanted to help like, organize events and support other class officers. And I think it's like a good opportunity to enhance my high school experience and other people's. Okay, and finally our treasurer candidate. We'll start with Nancy. So um, I feel like this specific position as a treasurer fits me the most out of like all the positions in cabinet because I've spent like most of my life like 
um, like being involved with like business and side hustles and etc. And I've just um, understood the concept of making money. And so I feel like being treasurer takes a lot to, um, to, to do and like make money, of course. And all, I think treasurer um, requires a lot of communication with um, just our class and how it's doing. And this year I've been involved with a lot of clubs like club, K club, BSA, whatever. And I've had like no problem meeting new people. And I feel like this position would really help me in the future, creating new experiences as in the future, I do want to go into the business field, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I specifically chose treasure because, um, Recently, I was like, I've known that um, class office this year or last year was struggling with money and I really want to change that. And I know that other schools have like other events and what they can achieve, I know I can also achieve because I believe that um, like having successful fundraisers is really important or having just a really good income of money is also really important is that I also really noticed. and um specifically choosing something that deals with money is really important and you have to be really careful with it and i want to embrace that in this position because i want to thoroughly spend and well budget um our school's funds or my class or my class's funds as i said in my speech too and specifically running for treasurer is also like something that i always wanted to do like Thank even you. if Okay, this is a question for everyone. How you manage your time with extracurriculars, school, and your position? You may begin, Ellie. Um, I will manage my time by prioritizing class office over other uh, extracurriculars, as being president is a big role, and I want to just be the best that I can for my class. Um, I will. I will help. I will start creating more schedules so I can, I can help manage my school work and my position as president. Thank you. Uh, uh, let's move on to our treasurer candidates. Let's start off with Rachel. Um, I know managing managing time is really, um, like hard, but. I'm always really busy and I have some extracurriculars that I always have managed time to work around and like even outside of school um, extracurriculars. And by doing this, I know I can use a schedule because usually throughout the week, I always have a schedule down on my phone to know what I do, how, what time practice ends and starts and what I have to do after school or any type of appointments that I have to attend. And I know I have to um, like me, I have to like, sorry. I have to like, main focus is on treasure and being in class office because it's really time consuming and I want to make um, future sophomore class a really fun year and to put my time towards that and yeah. Um, okay, then we'll move on to the vice president candidates. Um, we'll start off with Lorraine. I will manage my time and by, first of all, prioritizing school and especially this position because extracurriculars, um, they can be done whenever or, well, yeah, they can be done whenever, but school and this position is what I will prioritize I will um, create a planner and like a schedule for every day and I'll set my goals like every every night and I'm gonna I would take um, frequent breaks or else like you know you'll get burnt out and create a daily schedule since um, that's the best way to stay organized oh yeah staying organized is a good way to manage your time yeah and that's what I'm gonna do Okay, and then Devin. Um, 
Uh, I think I can do my position fairly well and manage my time because uh, as I was secretary last year, uh, that went fairly well as I would be in touch with Facebook Messenger and all my class officers. Um, uh, I think I'm a class office one of my highest priorities for next year and being punctual for it will definitely be a good attribute for me to have. Um, while I do want to do sports, like this year I was track and most likely like football, maybe volleyball or even basketball next year, I will always like prioritize my class 27 since at the end of the day, they're the ones I have to represent for our school. And handling extracurriculars is a hassle, I think. I won't deny that, but I will attempt my best to like work side by side with my officers and being organized of what needs to be done and uh, certain deadlines. Okay, we'll start with Nancy. <laughs> So this year, I've spent most of my freshman year doing extracurriculars and like doing um, participating in clubs for the school rallies. And so next year, I want to, you know, tone it down a little bit. And so I don't have to go home at 6 p.m. every day just so I can prioritize class office and school. And so I think um, with everything going on, especially with less extracurriculars and more class office, I think I'll be able to prioritize and get everything together. Yeah. Okay, and then um, Angelica? Um, I will manage my time and with extracurriculars, school, and my position by creating a schedule every day to make sure that I'm getting everything done and planning ahead so that I don't procrastinate and do everything last minute. And also prioritize my role as class office secretary because it is important and I'm representing my entire class. And also being organized so that I'm not doing everything like last minute and I don't stress myself out. Okay, and then we'll move on to the next question. So these next questions will be position specific. So we'll start off with the president candidate. What is your personal definition of a leader? What qualities do you exemplify that will allow you to do the best for your class? In, in my opinion, uh, my definition of a leader is someone who works for the best interest for everyone and to assist everyone to thrive in their own environment. No matter what extracurriculars they do or who they are, they should all be represented and be heard. Um, a leader should demonstrate empathy and they should hold um, enough and they should lead by example, uh, listen actively in their community and, commu and just communicates well in general with everyone. Um, the qualities that I hold that will help me be the best for my class is I'm able to be a leader and I'm able to talk with, and I'm, and I am able to talk with other people from my class. I'm a social person and I can listen to everyone and what they have to say and do my best to fulfill their needs. Thank you. All right. I'm going to move on to the vice president candidates. Um, how, vice president candidates, how do you plan on leading your class? What vision do you have as vice president to your class? Okay, whenever you're right. Um, so being vice president would call me for like being a leader when the president isn't present and someone you can count on when the president for some reason is able, isn't able to fill her job for the time being. Um, Leadership obviously helped me in adapting to my surroundings and creating fast solutions as a vice president. And I think in the end, I just want a successful sophomore year for the years to come. Uh, I envision myself working alongside the president and obviously the other class officers into creating unique ideas for our class that make us stand out and like show us who we are and what we bring to the table of Indy. And I think that uh, for this year, we should um, like try to put our most effort into it and just, you know, make an overall good year for its sophomores. Okay, and then Lori? Um, 
as vice president, my vision is to lead the class to be inclusive and collaborative, especially like working well together is really important. Um, I want to help everybody problem solve and encourage teamwork, especially. And I plan on making everything more um, accessible. Like um, perhaps if someone doesn't have social media to know what events are going on in school, we'll like print more posters and stuff and put them around classes. Um, my vision is also to make important decisions and plan important events and to seek feedback from like my community, from my peers to successfully plan those events and Thank make you. Those decisions. That is time. Okay. Um, secretary candidates. The question is, your job is to take meeting minutes. How will you make sure to keep your class organized? Uh, you may begin now. Um, to make sure that my class is organized, I plan to like maintain detailed records of all the meetings and have check-ins to communicate everything and make sure that everybody's on the same page and um have like like clear goals for everybody so that i know i'm doing my job correctly okay this is for our treasurer candidates um how will you ensure that your class's finances are stable and what will you do to raise more funds okay we can start nancy so i want to um, I was thinking that we could use every opportunity to get a way for funds to come in, like how BOTC, we use BOTC to sell merch and stuff. I want to, you know, use like all the times that we can um, sell stuff and get funds for our class. And I want to try new ideas that could possibly attract like other people or like from sports or something like that because if we use like the same stuff every time, like boba or something like that, because what if, you know, someone doesn't like boba? So um, I just want to try um, something new and different. And that could, you know, that is trendy and people may like more. And yeah. Thank you. And then let's move on to Rachel. Mm -hmm. To ensure my class finances, I believe that having a budget book would be really good. In a way, having all of our financial records saying what we bought, what we spent, and how much would be really good to see how much we have left or how much we can spend. And I believe I agree with Nancy taking any chance that we get to raise more money. And we could do this by, with the sports too, we could have flyers and posters that they can give out to help support us as a class or even clubs that can help us support us as a class. And, or even during airman, again, like with more like posters and things that can help us as a class. Raising more funds is really important because if we don't have anything, then there isn't really anything to do. And there's not, there won't be anything to fund our future events and future, future, also more future events. Raising more funds time. is- uh, Time, thank you. Okay, and then we can move on to the next question. All right, this will be the final question. It will be room to everybody. Um, it's very important, so please make sure to answer it thoroughly. Final question to everybody. In class office, you will have a set job in your role, whether that be raising funds for treasurer or taking minutes, meeting minutes for secretary. How will you make sure that you will go above and beyond in class office to do more than what you are expected to do? Okay, we'll start off with Ellie whenever you're ready. Um. I plan to go above and beyond by doing things such as seeking feedback from my peers. So this will make sure that everyone has a voice in class office. I would actively seek feedback from, from my class by putting things out such like such as a Google form. So we know, so we are able to include everyone's ideas and it's just better to be able to represent everyone. 
Um, I will maintain a good schedule and have good time management. And I'll always be present in case anyone needs help or someone needs something. I will do my best to be on top of everything as events come up, such as during busy times like Coco and Airband. And yes, that's it. Okay, thank you. We'll move on to the vice president candidate. We'll start with Lorraine. Um, I will make sure that I will go above and beyond by seeking out opportunities to serve my classmates and my um, my community by taking on like additional responsibilities and organizing um, events to like my best ability and putting all of my time into it. Um, I would also promote like mentoring um, programs or um, things like after school that can support my class. And I would speak for people who don't feel like they have a voice and I will do all I can to like make sure they feel, feel heard and involved and yeah. Okay, and then Devin. Um, I think I would go above and beyond for my class office position by like filling in for positions that may not be able to like attend a meeting or help out during an event. Like for example, say if our secretary were to be absent at a meeting for any reason, I could use my background experience as secretary from my freshman year to fill in her job and take the adequate meeting minutes. And I also think that if I use leadership in the class to voice out the class office um, opinions, I could gather like analytics for like what the people want and what they think. Um, I'll also try to go to as many meetings and rally events that I can to show that I am who I signed up for and not being an absent vice president. Um, what the people expect from me, I'll try to do that and even more and just try to be a vice president that the people of class 27 enjoy having. Okay, we'll on to our secretary candidate, Angelica. Um, my response is kind of similar to the rest of the candidates, but to go above and beyond in class office, I will take on the responsibilities of other officers when they're not present and kind of like get feedback from others to help improve class office and be someone that others can rely on and look up to to get the job done and go to all of the events and rallies to help school spirit. Okay, um, then we'll move on to our treasure candidates. We'll start off with Rachel and then we'll go to Nancy. I know I can go above and beyond in class office as a treasurer because not raise, I mean, not just raising funds as a treasurer is also really important, but I could also use other traits that other candidates are also using for their positions as in being well-organized, well-managed, having somebody to rely on because just in case somebody isn't there, I don't mind stepping up and taking that position. Doing more than what I am expected to do is also really important just in case somebody has trouble doing something and I don't mind helping them. Raising funds is also really important and it's also really time consuming because you also have to contact the business or any company that you're also doing. And I'm expected to do those and I don't mind doing it as becoming if elected future treasurer. Okay, and then Nancy. So as treasurer, you're obviously expected to raise funds, but I also am, because I'm also in class office, I'm also representing my class of 2027. So I also want to participate in most or even all of the, uh, the class, you know, activities like air band, just to show people that, you know, participating in these things and being involved with your class isn't as scary as you may think it is and I'll just want people to be more like um, familiar with each other and stuff like that and be more comfortable and I think I also think communication is super important especially with like communicating the stuff that's going on with like the bank and stuff like that 
And so I think, you know, reaching, reaching out um, and having communication skills is just um, important as well. And communicating with the people in the class of 2027 and like how they think, like what do they like uh, for next fundraiser and stuff Thank like you. that. With that, we do conclude our class of 2027 sophomore class office forums. Thank you for tuning in and having a voice in next year's leaders. Thank you and have a great night.